just had to put it on the I'm just gonna start off the vlog now. I'm waiting for someone to come pick me up because in some of these communities here, you can't really just walk in without, um, well, it's just safer if you walk with someone, so I'm just waiting for someone to get me. And then sometimes, if like you're driving in, you would probably call someone that you would know so they could, hold on, one person's coming. You would call someone that you know so they can tell you like if it's safe enough to come into the community and stuff. So just waiting for someone to pick me up and bring me in. I'm gonna show you guys the flag. Sometimes the flags in the community can tell you like if it's green, that means everything's a okay. If it's black, that means that wire is keeping. So I'm gonna try and show you guys the flag. I'm just walking right now. And listen, some people, the I'm put, do you know why I put ghetto in like air quotes in the title? Because some of these like houses look way better. Um, are really nice, they're big, and they look way better than some of the houses in um, these so-called uptown areas, okay? So I just want to say that. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys where I'm walking right now. This is how it looks. I'll try and show you guys some, like, some of the nice houses and everything. So, so I'm going to try and record as much as I can. I'm going to try and show you guys like a week in the life, a day in the life here. <laughs> So, let me see. I'm trying to show you guys everything. Because maybe some people would be interested in knowing how everything is. So, I'm just walking. And then, let me see. This house is nice. Okay, Friday. I'm um, party here on Friday, guys. So, we'll go to it. Go to it and see what we'll I'm going to eat. This is a nice, big, huge church. I'm only showing a look of it. But look how nice this road is. Clean and nice and soft. And goes all the way down here. A bus runs through here. I'm trying to record as much as I can. Yeah, go! Really okay, so this is Olympic Gardens Football Club. I'm not in this area, but all the communities are so close to each other and they're wiring against each other. You think like communities are so far from each other, but they're legit like one line away from each other like a road line okay we're just waiting for a taxi right now we're gonna go downtown yep i'm finding an outfit for a photo shoot and to go out tonight but i feel like i should wear this for the photo shoot hopefully it's not ugly though oh my god okay i think i'm gonna buy it Look at this goat, look how big it is. This is so big compared to my goat Sam. Oh, it's so cute, pregnant. Okay, we're gonna open up the door. Look at this. <laughs> These are all around the yard, the, what are they called again? Camera. Yeah, security cameras. Uh. <laughs> I haven't seen windows like these in so long. Anyways, let's go in. Anyways, I need to go buy some food. Look at this. It's all around the whole entire yard. Oh, I'm looking a little bit rough in these streets. Okay, I'm gonna go buy some box food. I'm hungry. Listen, I just found out that supposedly in Kingston they don't take $1, like the $1 coins them. Which doesn't make any sense, because that's still many. I'm going to try and see and tell you guys. Because that's so weird. Why wouldn't you? So I was picking up like 10,000 of them, because there's so much around the yard. I was picking them up to, um... Bye! Watch out with. Wow. <laughs> I'll use the $1 them to pay the taxi fare. $100. Like, 100 People are so extra. Because, like... Everything's fine so far. Well, it's just fine. Well, I shouldn't say people are extra, but... Okay, so, some places mainly, they'll call it like high priority areas because of like crime and stuff, but people need to understand that. People who commit crimes in certain areas, not all of them come from the area. Why would you commit a crime in the area that you live? This is just basics to criminology, that people usually commit crime 
Um, they don't, they're don't. not going to do it in the area that they're committing it, number one. And number two, people commit crimes to people that they know and know of. Stranger crime is not really frequent. Um, that's why I'm not scared, because I think I'm just educated. And yeah, so it's a quiet day so far. I'm not saying things don't happen, things not going to happen, but again, I'm going to try and record as much as I can. Okay, we're at this place called Sweet Dache. I can't stop saying it like that. So we're just waiting for a food right now. Okay, I'm at a wholesale buying some water right now. I'm gonna give them all my coins. Yes, what we what brand? Is it water brand? Yeah, Alaska brand for 120. Yeah, past 20 for 150. Um, the last is okay. Guys, I don't like I don't like water brand. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. This one I cool. So different how they chain up that big lock of everything behind me. We're waiting still. <laughs> Get my hair sticking out. <laughs> Why won't my camera stop zooming in? Oh, it's a They're so slow. The guy talking right now is so slow. He's the one holding up the line. They're in there for so long. Red Sweet Veggie. This place is really decent. Really, really clean and nice. I'm going to tell you guys what they have. It looks like they have like more than the typical like rice and chicken. So these are the, the bio biodegradable containers. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. We were here for so long though. Yeah. It's nice and cool here. down here I have to bathe like three times a day and I'm not over exaggerating I'm legit so I need to get a pool because it's not like country where you can just go down to like a 
close to the river. Not everywhere in country has, like, people have rivers near them, but, like, where I am, just go down to the river or turn the sprinklers or something. But, yeah. So that's a little dilemma right now. I'm just hot and sweating. I was downtown and I was sweating so bad. I was, like, actually dripping. And right now, the sun's bunny. So I'll talk to you guys once I'm eating. Hello, washroom. Okay. My phone's over there. What are we working with? Okay, I'm gonna fill this up with water to be. Actually, no, the shower works here. Mercy. Okay, rag and water. My soap's over on top of the toilet. <laughs> Okay, closed. <laughs> so I'm just gonna bend down and bathe because I think there's something wrong with the shower today where there's no water here. Oh yeah, also some days water, is com water comes through the pipe and some days they like the government like turns it off which is stupid because it only happens in like these type of areas. It, it wouldn't happen in certain areas but it happen like areas like this that they don't care about. They'll turn off the water to I guess save water. And since in here is so small, I left this door open so I can shower. So like fresh air could be coming in. There's like the neighbor's house over there. You guys can only see like side of it. It's like that one. That's only the side. Um, <laughs> look at the light. Um, yeah, because I need fresh air. It would be too hot in here and I can't. Because it's like really small. Okay. This is my get ready with me setup. So the mirror, of course, and then I just put two little pots right there. My makeup. I don't know if all this is going to stay on this little corner. And then I'm sitting on like an oil, what is this? Vegetable oil jug. <laughs> okay, so this is like the setup. I thought I was facing this side. Where else could I go? No, I'm gonna stay here. But um, in places like this, where you only have this, uh, you only have a fan and no AC, and it's burning hot. I think I should wear the bearing. I don't know. Um, you have to like shower, or bathe like three times a day. I just finished bathing and bathing, and um, I feel so good. The water was just like the perfect temperature. It just cooled me down, and I love it. So now I'm gonna get ready for an event. So far, nothing's happening in the community or anything. It's just a regular day here. People are at work, people are at school. People are at home hiding in their house because the sun's hot. I'm thinking I'm doing um, eyeshadow, but at the same time I don't want to. I don't even want to do my makeup at all, guys. I'm gonna be honest, it's hot. So I have everything, all my makeup in this Fashion Nova bag. If you guys watched my fashion Nova haul, you guys would have saw that they gave me like 10,000 of these. And I'm not over exaggerating. If you guys saw in the haul, you guys will see how much they gave me. I have so much of these and I don't, I don't know what to do with them. So I just put random things in it. People are like, oh my gosh, why don't you get an actual makeup bag? Travel bag? The reason why I don't have one is because I had one before and they get like super unclean and dirty. And not only that, I have... Oh yeah, because of that, I haven't bought one in the longest time. I'm going to. I just want a, like a, a really good one that's like black in the inside as well. I'm supposed to dress business casual for this event. I don't know if it's like casual, but it's like business like. It's like a pantsuit. Did I show you guys in a vlog when I was downtown? I don't know if I showed you guys that one, but you guys are gonna see it. I just hope it fits. It was a medium, and I wanted it. Okay, like first of all, I think I already talked about this in one of my vlogs that down here, they have a lot of stuff for more curvier people. Okay. So I was down there and like a lot of the clothes in the wholesale, they had like the things um, in medium. And I was like, girl, look how skinny I am. Oh my God, I got the best customer service today too, actually. The store that I bought the black drum suit, not the two piece that I showed you guys. The black drum suit, which was like a different wholesale. The guy helped me to the T. Like, this is customer service you'll get like when you go to guests or um I'm not even gonna see that because you don't get no customer service there. <laughs> like guests, like one of those stores. 
um you know how you have like someone who like help that someone who works or like helps you to the t that's what i got today like the man helped me to the t like he even gave me like more options he's like because i was having the dilemma because they only had the outfit that i'm gonna wear tonight and black and he was like you know what like let's look at other things first and see if we can get a small and then we were looking he was asking the girls behind like the cage thing and um he was giving me all these different outfit ideas and like i liked them but it was too much for the event that i'm going to because they told me to dress business casual so i was like oh this is so nice but i think this is too much just to wear and i didn't want to go back downtown for the rest of the week to be honest so i wanted to buy both things you guys are gonna see why why i bought more than one outfit um in this vlog yeah so i'm just doing makeup um yeah so i had a dilemma oh my god i didn't finish the story so i'm just kind of, kind of nervous that it's not gonna fit and you're, you can't dry in the outfits and it's a medium and they, the medium they on the mannequin they like um pinned it up to make it tighter on the mannequin and i'm really skinny so <sighs> if this doesn't fit me i don't know what i'm wearing tonight guys this is the funniest thing ever so uh, who guess who wanted to do the eyeshadow and i didn't buy makeup brushes i didn't bring my makeup brushes and i'm wow i can't believe and i actually need eyeshadow for this weekend this is a more eco-friendly way of having cereal just put the cereal inside of the milk box box. yeah the milk box that it comes in look at that <laughs> i'm here out on the road like which road am i supposed to turn on <laughs> I thought you would know. No, it's a token. What's your token? What does it say? Pretty slippery. I got this. Pretty slippery. Okay, we're here finally. I'm at the Jamaica room. She looks so good. Cutie. This, I'm supposed to find a booth and then I'm supposed to get a prize or something. So this is it. Okay, we're at his little thing here. We won. Do I get? Yay! We're here with apple time. Brought our drinks. I got rum cream, of course. Oh, put the Put the Put the They're all taking their little steps.
March 4th. I'm going to be there, so I want you guys to come. I'm gonna link everything about Rum Festival in the description box because I want you guys to come, okay? I want you guys to come and enjoy yourself. I did go last year, but I saw everyone's posts on Instagram and their um, IG stories and everything, and I was like, um, this year's not missing me. I'm just here, like, eating food. There's, like, cameras everywhere, and it's gonna be good support. So I'm gonna try and show as much as I can. We have a unique product that is ingrained in our culture and is something to be celebrated. Facts. More importantly, the American Rum Festival is an opportunity for us to unite and build community as we continue to position Jamaica as a diverse lifestyle tourism destination. Woo! Festival director for the Rum Fest Jamaica Rum Festival. Are you excited? The Honorable Mr. Nice. Ed Barker, oh, wow. Dr. Kerry We're Wallace, executive director of the Tourism and Arts and Fund. Your Excellency, the Ambassador from the United Kingdom to Jamaica. Um, at the Rum Festival. Uh, Mr. Mr. Jimmy Lawrence. The brand new platform to showcase Jamaica's premium rums to the world. Okay, I'm gonna open the blind. Open these ones too. I'm gonna open sesame. Open these. I got water delivery. <laughs> Look at this guy, look at this guy. Okay, these are some solar light that you just leave outside and then they'll charge. Okay, so this is some water. I'm gonna put it in the small jug here, just to fill it up. We're just catching some water right here. Hi, kitty, kitty. Okay, now we have to bring this back over. We My, 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 uh, morning skincare routine. <laughs> You guys look, my vlog camera, the screen came off. This camera I don't like it at all. I knew this was going to happen because it's a Canon G7X, Canon G7X Mark III. I knew this was gonna happen. The screws at the back here, let me show you guys, the screws at the back here kept on falling out um, and the screen finally broke off because the screws. 
The screen is held by the most small, smallest screws on this planet, bro. And the screen literally ripped off. I went to touch the screen to focus it, and the whole thing just fell on the ground. Good morning, everyone. Hey, bro. Let me tell you, I'm so upset because my vlog camera basically broke. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do. I wanna get a new. I look like. I look so, it's early in the morning. <laughs> I look, I definitely look like I just woke up. Okay, so I want you, I want you guys to comment down below if you guys know what area I'm in. I'm legit going to give you guys a hint. This area has so much Indian people in it, like so, 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 so much. So whenever you come here, it's just like all Indian people and then mixed race people. So people mix with like black. And yeah, so if you guys know where, comment that down below. Legit, every turn, corner you turn is just like Indians, Indians, Indians. Obviously, some black people and then mixed race people, mixed race like people. Um, but yeah, comment down below and let me know what you guys think. <laughs> you guys know where exactly I am talking about? I want to see how good you guys know that these areas around here. And I was giving you guys hints because I was showing some of the places, like when I went to Sweet Dutchie and stuff like that. So actually, Sweet Dutchie is like a little bit way away from the community i was walking on olympically so you guys can put two and two together and you guys can figure out what community i am in <laughs> again guys there's a legit a lot of indian people around here like probably the most that you'll find concentrated in one area in jamaica especially in kingston and then a lot of mixed race so mixed with indian and black okay anyways let's talk about yes oh my god i have something to tell you guys so yesterday i was walking because i was going to the vent as i showed you guys and then tell me how yeah the two little kids are like miss miss and i turned because i was okay well, this is two little kids right so i turned around and then they're like miss miss you breast them pretty man i was like what i screamed what and like people were just staring at me and i was like what these rude little <laughs> and yeah i was like these kids and then i came back and i was telling people and they're and they the people that around here described the two little indian boys and they're like yeah yeah they're like yeah they're just that's how they are like they're saying the how like these little boys will always be um stopping girl <laughs> and legit the same way they described it, i'm like oh my god it is the same two little indian boys they they would always like like say stuff to women when they pass by like about their bhaktis and their friends and start joking up the air and winding up themselves i don't know what's happening but anyways ah, life is good and jamaica is so nice and so sweet i love it jamaica is ugh, i just love jamaica you guys can probably see how hot i am i'm so hot right now so currently i'm just outside watching some youtube videos on my phone and then in a bit like in like two hours oh my god i have to leave out i'm gonna leave out at three because at four o'clock I have a meeting at Pegasus. Just watching some videos. I'm out here trying to get cool breeze. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to my meeting. So I'll bring you guys along to that. Then we have a few more days here. Okay. Hey. 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 guys. Hey. Okay, so I'm gonna go out right now. Um. Ooh. Look at that brand new zinc. Brand new uh, I'm gonna go out now. I'm gonna meet up with Pizza Gay. I have to shoot some pay paid content for Juicy Patties. Guys, I'm working with them. What a dream come true. And then I am. What are you guys gonna see? I'm, we're gonna go to Riva and stuff, and then we're gonna, going to come back. But I have to be walking with my umbrella because it's hot. And you have to walk out so far just to go to the main road to get taxi. To go to halfway tree so that's what i'm gonna do now and also um yeah this community is like good it's like safe everything it's decent everyone's when i like walk and stuff to go out in the evening so people are coming from school from work everything like that so i don't know people are just extra i feel like people are extra when it comes to things like that um comes to like oh it's unsafe like kingston oh no anyways um anyways so i'm going to go I'll try and show you guys more scenery. I keep on forgetting to show you guys the, the flags. I'm going to try and see if I can find some. Because I haven't been seeing any when I've been walking. And um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. But yeah, and later, I don't know what time I'm coming back. But I want to go to the party if they're having the party. So I'm going to try and bring you guys along with me. And everything like that. Okay. Okay, I'm walking to go get taxi. It's 
so this is how it looks face is empty <laughs> i just don't want my makeup to sweat off that's why i'm walking because i want to take um, this content without having my makeup sweating off because i'm free putting on anything i don't have time <laughs> Buying something. It's still half a drink. So I'm here at the Juicy Patty in New Kingston, and this is going over the campaign brief, guys. This is my printer. It's running out of ink, but I'm just here, and um, I'm preparing. But yeah, I have to take up like two seats. I think I'm going to take up these two and see how it is. And we're going to go outside where the sign is. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Here, Jamaica North South Highway. Okay, we, and then we're walking under here. party like instead of having it like just tucked in so I think it's gonna work even though my bra showing at the side. I literally don't want to dress up at all. I just want to go for like an hour and come back. So this should be okay. Even though if I had better shorts. I actually was gonna bring shorts and I totally forgot when I was already on my way here. And then I don't want to go downtown to buy so I'm just gonna hopefully this looks okay. I look like I'm going to like a market. Maybe I just. I think I'm ready now. I just. Look at these nice things. <laughs> I'm going to get some water because I'm thirsty and dehydrated. So it's currently 9 30. Um, party's gonna finish at like, I think, 1. Or I'm. Yeah, I think at like 1 o'clock or 12. I'm at the shop and I'm getting vodka. I'm so thirsty. I'm right here. here at the shop. Huh? I just need some water, man. It's still, it's still um, early and it's 10 o'clock right now. Okay, we're walking. Get um, is the shop closed? No. Oh, we're getting some water. Yeah. I'm so dehydrated. Look at the water bottle didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I said no one. They're probably at the party. Yeah. What does it say? Knock on. No phone credit or something like that. Oh, it says F off. Oh my god. Okay, what about the bar? They don't sell water. Is it going to be like $500 for water? Probably. You want to go? Okay, we're
So, um, the police came as you guys saw, and then they locked off the party. It's 12 o'clock right now. I'm gonna go and shower and then go to my bed. Let me tell you, I was telling someone today that it's like the way country is, it's not like town where you have to be. Can I go into this community? Oh, I can't go into this community. Is this community at war? Can I walk into the community? Like, it's annoying like that. It's annoying. In country, you can go through any community and drive through any community, stuff like that. Like, in town, some communities put up their own legit gates at the front. Like, it's a main government road, and they legit put, like, gates up. You can tell they put up their the gate in the community because, like, no, you can't put... <laughs> you can't put up... Gates on a government main, like a government road and stuff, and then you're you're driving, and you mostly see these communities going downtown, like the down, like when you're going downtown Kingston, Jamaica, you see them putting like barricades at the front of the road. Save one community has like four um, different ways to get into that community, like just say like two of those roads will have barricades on it, so like they can control um, how people can can come and come out of the community and stuff like that because I guess previous stuff that happened in the past. Good morning, everyone. I look probably tired. I'm gonna go buy some food this morning. I'm gonna see what they have. And then I'm gonna head back to Tennessee. I'm so excited. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Beyond this music here, it's like a quiet morning. People are just like cleaning up the yard and you know, simple chores and like that. Yeah. I hope they have like liver or kidney and fried dumplings. The road to get some bleach. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Mine. We have different ones. Hi, morning. Morning. Country, she don't belong to country. Uh, okay, so we're gonna buy some food. Here, this is like the food spot. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, can I have the liver and fried dumpling, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and how much is the food? And then how big is the small one? Okay, yeah, can I get that one? I'm getting liver and fried dumpling. Liver fried up. I can't yeah. smell the dumplings. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> This is it. So we have the liver, and this is a lot for only four hundred dollars. In country, you can get like a little bit more, but this should fill me though. I noticed I don't need to eat. So I want good, right? This one is country style. I never had it before. It's squishy. 